a wise man once told me there are more than 7 billion people in this planet there are more than 7 billion planets in this galaxy there are more than 7 billion galaxies in this universe each planet and each galaxy having quadrillions and trillions of people all different organisms each and every one of those living yet you are different yet i am different there's no duplicates of each other there's no similarities between people each person has their own experience and their own desires their own outcome their own story hello guys welcome to this video my name is arjun shankar and i study at mpsgm me and my colleagues at mechatronics engineering have interviewed two highly respected and highly regarded hods of two very important departments one of them is dr venkatesh deshmukh and the other is sharda samantre sharda samantre sir is actually the head of department of data science engineering and he is also an associate dean if you take your career seriously you should definitely listen to what they have to say carefully listening to this video will provide you a lot of insight into your career and how you can be valuable as a person after graduating engineering go ahead and enjoy the video Okay, so hello. We are here on the fifth floor of new MPSC building uh, in Suite Five Zero One, and with me I have Mr. Sarda Samantrai, who is the head of Data Science Department here at MPSC M. And I ask you to come forward and ask him any questions you may have. We have only three faculty, okay. only three faculty. Okay, and how many students? We have two forty students in our BTEC. 180 students in our MBA tech. That's 420, and we have around 40 students in M tech. We run both the programs, M tech data science and M tech AI. Okay. I think that's the only department which is running M tech program, master's program. Okay. No other department. Okay, so uh, 40 more, so 240, 240 plus 40 plus 460. For the 460, three faculty. Um, so yeah, uh, we get a lot of industry faculty, around 20, 25 industry faculty from industry they come. Yeah. They share their knowledge. Uh, they may not be very good at teaching the theory, but uh, they make you ready for industry. So mm -hmm. students run away with good jobs. So so far so good, going good. To my, in my opinion, mechanical and electronics, right? Mechatronics combination, right? Yes. Deadly combination. Uh, actually, any two things you mix, that is always deadly. Like computer science and healthcare, or computer science and stock market. Yeah, right? I don't want a B Tech in computer science. I want a B Tech. Doesn't matter which branch he is from. If he can double my money, putting in stock market. Or he can double the admission in MPST me doing some marketing. That's what I want. A B Tech student with analytical skill, so that my business is doubled. Right? If you can do that, you are you are the guy. Doesn't matter which branch you are. And nowadays, a lot of robots are coming because human beings they are doing a lot of mistakes. Robots and uh, is coming and taking over. People are craving saying that job will go and all these things. Job will go if you don't do the job. I will get somebody else to do the job, and that is somebody else could be a robot, right? So I want my work to be done. Either you do it, and if you keep on doing mistakes every day, every often, I replace you with somebody else. So that's what is happening in mechatronics. Robots are getting created. Intelligence robots are getting created, and I belong to data analytics. I know what to be done. Both integrate. And make a business. I'll be a hard worker. I think uh, doesn't matter which again, you know, which degree you are taking, right? You have to be a strong problem solver. Okay, in this solve some problem, you need a robot. Better learn mechatronics, right? So I don't want you to blindly learn mechatronics or blindly learn data science. You identify a problem to solve whatever is required. You learn things, and you can learn, right? Um, YouTube videos are there, a lot of courses are there, professors are there. You can take help and learn. So I don't want you to remember what is the formula for standard deviation, right? If you have to learn standard deviation, it's a matter of day. Go study the book, bring the knowledge, and solve this problem. 
right? So don't remember the formulas. Hmm. Try to understand to solve this application, this problem. I need this theory. Go and figure it out. So all theories are in the book. I guess all the best faculties are over here as well. Correct. All, all, all the theories are in the book. So I want my faculty not to teach you more theory. Hmm. Right? Wherever you have difficulty, we'll solve your problem. Of course, theory is important. Yeah. Always, always. So professors are there who can help you. But things like I have seen in you know, IITs, student always demands saying that sir, whatever is there, book don't teach us. We can study. Teach something beyond. Hmm. Whichever is not there, we cannot get it in the internet. We cannot get it in books. You, with your experience, you tell that. So those professors, professors are around. So try to explain that. So, so that you consider as USP or MPS? Absolutely. Any, 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 any branch. Okay, so I would like to understand the is mechatronics just mechanical fifty percent and electrical fifty percent, or is this just something a totally different thing? Okay, I mean, there's one way to define mechatronics, which is there's nothing wrong with saying that it's fifty percent mechanical engineering and fifty percent electronics engineering. That's you know somebody's frame of reference. And that is fine. But in MPS TME, we look at mechatronics not just as you know that by that definition. We look at mechatronics as a science of uh, building mechatronic systems. Then you would ask me, what is a mechatronic system? So any system with mechanical moving components, which is controlled by an electronic board with some software running on it, qualifies as a mechanical uh, as a mechatronic system. So you can think of CNC machines, you can think of uh, articulated robots, you can think of uh, rover, some of the parts are on my shelf there, uh, that move on, um, on terrains and navigate themselves. You can think of an elevator, you can think of an um, uh, electric car. The most simplest thing would be a fan. A fan yeah. or a refrigerator yeah. <coughs> or biomedical um, instruments, uh, biomedical equipment. All these are mechatronic systems. Now, the problem with that definition is that it does not include software aspects. And those software uh, is the is probably as important as the mechanical and the electronics part. Because without software, you cannot make a product, right? And uh, so our definition of mechatronics would be the science of uh, designing smart and intelligent mechatronic systems. So by smart, I mean with Wi-Fi adapters, right? Uh, so you should be able to communicate with that system uh, in a wireless, wireless manner. By intelligent, I mean uh, the software that runs on it gives it uh, one of the five senses that humans have, right? It gives uh, either vision, it's very hard to give the sense of smell, I would say. But vision, uh, speech uh, are the most common. Uh, looking around, figuring out what's around you, and then navigating your way out of it uh, is probably the most common, uh, uh, you know, example of intelligence in mechatronic systems. Uh, well, these days you have bots that process applications. Bots like robots, like or just... uh, software bots oh, okay. that process your applications, bank mm -hmm. application, other card application, whatever. They use something called optical character recognition, which is which is a vision-based uh, technology, where you actually recognize the text that is printed okay. on a piece of paper, and then your software determines whether that text, written text, is uh, correct or not. So whether the person has filled the form the right way or not. Then you can use face recognition to identify the photograph, the person from the photograph. So. For that, you definitely need you need mechanical equipment, you need mm. electronic equipment, but mm. you also need a lot of software development. Software, as in what kind of software would you suggest? Anything which is well, expanded? software meaning uh, you need programming languages. Mm. So Python, C plus plus, probably are most popular these days okay. with mechatronic systems. Mm. Any product that is out there implemented in the real world, 99% uh, of the time is going to use C++ because you can program microcontrollers and whatnot with it. Python is more like, Python libraries are, are vast, it's huge, and they are very trustworthy. 
So Python is for proof of concept, if I want. If you want to understand logic, I think there is MATLAB, which the university has uh, is offering cloud-based MATLAB to all its students. You can install it in your on your personal device. Uh, there is no charge for it. So even outside the facility, we can use it. You can install it on your personal device. Yes. Okay. And uh, it doesn't, regardless of where you are, regardless of your location, you can use. So it stays with you 24/7. Mm -hmm. MATLAB also comes with a data analytics, uh, cloud-based data analytics platform called ThinkSpeak, which lets you aggregate, analyze, and visualize data uh, using MATLAB tools. Okay, uh, and ThinkSpeak is free with your uh, MPSDB credentials. On ThinkSpeak, you have channels. You can make your own channel, and you can keep publishing data to those channels. You can make your channel public. Right? And there are public channels from which you can read data. So you can start having fun, you can start you know, understand, uh, start understanding the logic, which is the most important part in writing a program, writing uh, a software, uh, in software development. So software usually consists of something, an app that a person writes, or you can use some of the commercially available uh, uh, software platforms, or uh, some of the free open source software platforms. So that is what I mean by software component of uh, mechatronic systems. Now, depending on what you want to do, there could be several, several of uh, software platforms that are available free open source that are trustworthy and that you can use. Mm, to that's make. on basis of trial and error. We have to say, right? uh, not. There are some proven uh, platforms free open source platform 